Greetings all of you. Uh, my name is Frank Janoshi. I'm speak to you now uh, using by the computer and the video uh, technique. I couldn't be vi uh, with you guys in um, in your conference now, but I am, uh, would like to share a message uh, with you uh, using uh, the the internet uh, connection. Well, I am uh, working among the teenagers as a youth uh, and school uh, worker, and uh, I'm I'm 40 years old, uh, uh, more than 16 uh, years. I married my wife. She is her name is uh, Dorka, and we have two kids. I have uh, 11 years old Timothy. He is my son. And I have uh, one daughter, his name is Theodora. And I'm greeting now uh, to uh, all of you from Hungary, and that we live in the middle, uh, in the central Europe. And, uh, and I live in Hungary, and our uh, city names is Ketzel. And uh, I was nice to uh, meet you. I uh, really would like to shake uh, hands with you, but I couldn't. But I would like to share something about my life and, and God's, uh, God's word too. First, I would like to introduce a little bit uh, myself, that uh, I was grown up in a Christian uh, family. And uh, when I was five years old, uh, I started to uh, go to the church with my parents. Before uh, my, pa before my uh, parents were saved, my father was alcoholic. He, drank, uh, so, he drank so much uh, uh, alcohol. And our life wasn't a safety life. That was so many uh, problem and, and violence in, in our life. And when I was 11 years old, I made a decision that I would like to, uh, to follow Jesus. And I made a decision that I tell the Lord, here I am, I would like to to be your child. I would like to be part of your family. And he, he forgave all my sins. And uh, he came to my heart and gave, uh, gave uh, his peace and give his calling too. When I was 17 years old, I get a calling in one of the youth camp in Hungary. Then the preacher is spoke, uh, is preached the gospel, and I feel that is really uh, speak to me. God speaks to my, my heart that I would like to use you. You became my servant. And that was a long time ago now. That was... Um, more than uh, 25 years ago, but I am still uh, working um, with God in a different uh, area. I used to preach the gospel and I uh, give lecture in the school, speak about self-image, love, sexual problems, uh, addictions, drugs, alcohol addictions and some uh, other subjects. And I also speak about uh, to teenagers how they can uh, find the main calling of their life. Now that you are, as a teenager, you are a critical uh, lifestyle and critical life uh, moment that, that the decision that you, is, uh, you are uh, made now its influence for your future. And uh, uh, for that reason, you are so important for God. 
but the Satan also would like to destroy your life. You have to make a decision who will be your king, who will the rule uh, Lord of your life, Jesus Christ or the devil. They both would like to use you. To, to, uh, you have to make a decision. I would like to become children of Satan, children of the enemy, and children of the, the the evil, or I will become a children of God, child uh, of God. The Bible speak about uh, in Matthew five, fourteen until 16, we saw it, uh, Jesus uh, speak about in the Mount, in Sermon on the Mount. And uh, if you're thinking about uh, when he started his ministry, uh, he was in the, in the river of uh, Jordan and he was baptized in the water, and after then he went to the desert, and uh, was, uh, he was tempted by the enemy, Satan, and after then he uh, came uh, back to the desert, the desert, we read in the Bible, he was led by the Spirit to the de desert, but he came back to desert with the power of the living God, with the power of the Holy Spirit. And after then he spoke to the people, and I'm uh, reading now Matthew 5, 14 until 16. That is our main subject. You are the light of the world. A city on the hill cannot be hidden. Neither do the, do the people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men and that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in the heaven. Our lifestyle is influence the people who, can, uh, who is uh, uh, watching our lives, who, who can able to see our lives, how can we uh, thinking, how can we uh, speaking, and how can we uh, doing. And it starts, you are the light of the world. And the other uh, subject in, uh, in John, in, in John, it that said that Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. How can be your life the light of the world? That is a big question. You are the light of the world. Maybe you're never thinking about that your lives can be influenced for others, for your, in your family members or your classmates in the schools, or that uh, people who is still uh, living around you is watching your life. You are the light of the world that Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And he used the 
power of the living God who lives inside you is make your life differently. How I read it before, the people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. The light in your life will be shining. Let your light shine before the man, before your student uh, uh, members, school members, before your teachers, before your family. And they may see you, your good deeds and praise your Father in the heaven. How can my life uh, lighting? Only one case if our, if, uh, our heart has Jesus Christ, the light of the world. He said before, I am the light of the world. And now he spoke to you. You are the light of the world. What can you do with your lighting? To hiding your light? Or you can uh, lift up your lighting and using Bible speak about your light is a little light and maybe we know the songs that I'm not hiding my little light but if we are all together so many people so many Christian people we can be like a towel like a lighthouse and we can Shine, shine, Jesus, shine. That is a famous song that Cliff Richard is uh, singing. Shine, Jesus, shine. Feel the spirit over this country, over this city. I am really uh, wish you guys that your life will be uh, same like the, the light tower or the lighthouse. The people who live around you is watching your life. John said in, a, in his letter, John, The first John Gospel, uh, chapter one. This is the message that we have heard from him and declared to you. God is light in him. There is no darkness at all. If we climb to the have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness. We lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship with one other, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us, us from all sin. This is the message that we have heard from him. John speak about. I am heard this message from him, from Jesus. And I declare to you, God is light. And there is no darkness in him. And if you really want to... Uh, used by God, 
If you, your uh, dream is God, use me. He would like to put his light inside of you. Like a little candle. candle. He would like to switch on your life, ignite your life, and he would like to use you, that your life is changed, and through you, the other lives will be changed. The John uh, first uh, letter, we speak about that the life is a bird and we have seen it and testify to it and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard and that you also may have fellowship with us and our fellowship with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. John the Apostle said in his letter, the first letters of John, in the first chapter, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, and which we have looked at our hands have touched. This we proclaim and concerning the word of life. If you believe the gospel is real, you will find the people who are not believing God around you, your life will be their letters from God. Your life can uh, show them how is God. We can see God with our eyes, we can't hear uh, God's uh, voice with our ears, and we couldn't touch him with our hands. But uh, God said, through the Holy Spirit, you can explain how is God exist. The people who like, who see you in the classroom, see your uh, behaviors, see your characters, they see God doing inside of your heart. And the Bible says we have to speak about the God, what has done. We have to show what God doing in our life and we have to reach able for the people who would like to touch God. If you remember uh, Jesus' life, he was so busy day, one of the day, and he teach the people, he teach the crowd, and that time he was a little bit tired, he was a little bit uh, out of his energy, but somebody came to Jesus and said, my little daughter will be die if you couldn't come as soon as possible. Please come and heal him, heal her, because she is closing to die. And that time Jesus said to him, Don't not be afraid. Be faith in God. Trust in God. And that time, he went this uh, journey to reach Yairus' uh, house. And one lady, she was problem with the blood uh, problem that the Bible speaks about. Uh, she had uh, ter terrible blood problems that uh, she used to... Uh, 
spent all his money for the doctors, and nobody can help her. And she said, if I am touch him, I will be healed in the name of Je in, in the right moment. And, she, and it was a big crowd, but she was aggressively to, to touch Jesus. And when, when he touched it, Jesus is turned around, turned back, and said, somebody is touch it me. And the people said, yes, lo so many people around you. No, somebody is touch it me with belief, with faith. And the lady said, I was, I was who did. And, he, and she, she said, I want to be healed because I know that if I, am, I, I can, if I can touch him, if I can touch Jesus, my life is changed, it's right now. And he did. He did. And Jesus is turned to uh, her and said to her, your faith is working and be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. After then, when he went to Yairus' house, he came, he back to the, he arrived the house, and we saw that people was around uh, the house, who was crying and said, oh, everything is so late. Jesus, you're so late. Because this, this, li this little do uh, girl is died. I, uh, I'm read it to you in Luke 88. Fifty. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, "Don't be afraid; just believe, and she will be healed." When he arrived in the house of Jairus, he didn't let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James, and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were waiting and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead, but as asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead, but he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit is returned, and once she stood up, then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but the other them not tell anyone what had happened. Jesus can do what the people never do. He can alive the death, he can forgive our sins, and he can heal our body, and he can give a new purpose for our life. I read in the first uh, scripture, Matthew 5, that if your light is shining, let your uh, light is shining. Let your light shine before the men and that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in the heaven. The people who can see you 
through you, through your eyes, through your voice, through your personality, they can see Jesus himself. I'm really appreciated you guys. Really appreciate it. Pray with me. Lord, come to my heart and shine Jesus inside of me. That the people who can see my life can see you, Lord Jesus. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. In your area, in your city, in your family, you will be the light of the world. Bow down hand, bow our uh, head and praying. Lord Jesus, here I am. I heard your voice that you would like that my life will be light of the world. Use me. Let your light shine. Let your light shine in my life and give me your power, your, your electricity, electricity of the heaven that my life will be speak about you. The people who doesn't know you can know you through us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Be blessed by the name of Jesus Christ and let your, your light shine because you are the light of the world. Thank you for your attention and the Lord bless you very richly and use you a marvelous way. And Richard and the other leaders, I'm greeting you and if you uh, have opportunity to come to Hungary, let, the, uh, let you come and you are so welcome here in Hungary and if God gave me opportunity one time, I could be, uh, preach and pray with you personally. I would like to be uh, in your, uh, your country and your conference. The Lord bless this time and bless this conference meeting. Amen. Bye-bye. I'm greetings all of you. Frank Janosi from Hungary. Lord bless you. See you guys.